This game is going to be a lot of contact because it is now what they'll do. What really can give you a hard time, referees, is the four and it's against. Well, I'll tell you, Robert's got a long time already in this game without a foul, so he probably feels like things are really going his way. Turned over a new leaf. Dunleavy, Mike Dunleavy, asserting himself with four points. The screen, the double screen by Paul. Now he hooks back over. He went a little wide. Chris Ford was late getting to him. Robert Parrish has to come over to help out. Gives a good ball fake. Parrish up in the air, lays it in the basket for two, and we got a tie ball game. That not only helps, but permits his teammates to play. Robert Reed, and Reed gets that one to drop, and he has really had a tough time getting anything to go in for him. He had two points in game two and one point yesterday. Here's the steal. 14 12, a chance to tie it up. Is that Levy? At the 5 game, time mark. Now, the player, the great player, when I said he has to do things that permit his teammates to play, he can't have the ball all the time. But you get a feeling today about them as opposed to yesterday. Yesterday, they just didn't seem to have that edge. Today, playing much crisper. Here is Billy Pulse. The hook. Put away by his own teammate, Willoughby, that time. Archibald Reed reaches in and bats it to Dunleavy. Here goes Willoughby at the other end. 26-24, Boston by two. As we approach 30 seconds left in this first period of play, Henderson off to Dunleavy against Ford. And Mike really putting on an excellent show in this first half. He has 10 points already. And traveling on Boston. The Celtics now have committed their fifth turnover of the game. Look at this crowd. Are they excited? Two total. Maxwell looking for Bird. You see Reed just all over the place playing defense. Excellent job by Reed. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Robbie double team. Dunleavy comes up. This is a different Houston team today. They were starting to get in the running game with Boston. He, he held the ball up. So, okay, let's set it up and let's get inside. Let's do what we want to do. Dunleavy with a good fight. And he comes up with the ball. The Willoughby blocked by Robert Perry. Look at Parrish hustle down to the other end. Maxwell off to Bird. And we have a traveling call on the Boston Celtics. First, if he hadn't had that table to keep from falling all of his weight upon him. Then he would have fell on the pocket with full. <laughs> Dunleavy. What a job Tom Dunleavy is doing. This is his best game of the playoffs. 12 points. That certainly proved to be true in that situation. Parrish now with two fouls. But vast departure of his first last two games when he's foul trouble all that bites everybody to a draw. Good tough Irishman. Look at that expression. Yes. Houston still have substituted very much in this game, have they? No, they haven't. You know, I tell you one thing though. Houston has turned into a basketball town. Look at that. That'll help. We have a timeout called by Boston. Bill Fitch had called the timeout and the players didn't know it. Look at Mike Dunleavy again, blindsiding Ryan Parrish. He gambled. It was a good gamble. He takes it down the court. Watch this behind the back move on Tiny Archibald. Cuts inside of him, takes it over Bird, lays it in the basket. Mike Dunleavy having a great game here in the playoffs. And the Rockets are up by eight with 6.08 to go in the third period. Henderson off to Dunleavy. Dunleavy having an excellent afternoon. He wants two more. Get on him. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Billy Pulse. Nice defensive play that time. Cologne trying to come up with it. There's a crossbody block by Dunleavy. Larry Bird going to be called. I think, no, it's Mike Dunleavy called for cutting a man's legs out from under him. So Mike Dunleavy picks up the foul. Mike in dismay. His first foul was a grimace. Dunleavy. Who already has a career high 18 points in the playoff. Make some... some uh, and they would make some very effective adjustments. Never be surprised. And you really get involved in a game when you have somebody like Larry Bird. He keeps you involved. There's definitely be a three-pointer. This guy is uncanny today. Playoff basketball before the sellout crowd. Dunleavy. People here in the Lone Star State are really involved with this Houston Rockets team who's playing in the finals for the first time. A 
Mikhail with four, Chris Ford with three fouls, three men in this game with four fouls, Don Levy, young player, no one really realizes his capability to give him a little bit of a rest, we'll wait and see who he's in for. Well, I can't say enough for Don Levy, what courage he's shown in this game. Pass from, you got to make that pass almost perfect. Henderson scored three field goals in this fourth period. 84-76, Don Levy trying to shake Henderson and take Look at the turnovers. 20 to 10. Reversed from yesterday. Dunleavy. Look at Bird coming to Reed. That will be a foul on Larry Bird. Reed shaking up. They've conceded, you think? Well, do rods a three-pointer. And there he is trying one. That'll do it. The Houston Rockets, who were devastated yesterday, have come back before the sellout crowd. Seven NBA World Championship Series with a 91 to 86 victory. That means that Game Five will follow Tuesday night from the Boston Garden. Game Six will be Thursday night, also here on CBS, as we'll be back at the summit. For Rick Barry and Bill Russell, I'm Gary Bender. The final 91-86 Houston Sports Sunday is a presentation of CBS Sports.